most famous physical therapist on the internet. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Shop, physical therapist. Brad Haney, physical therapist. Together, we are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. All right. Today, we're going to talk about how to treat Osgood Schlatter disease of the knee. So we found out that uh, Osgood was an American, and Schlatter was a Swiss. So it wasn't the, German. They're both orthopedic doctors. I right. Understand. Yes. Exactly. And, and they're long past. Right. It was the early 1900. I think the one died in the 30s and the other passed away in the 50s. Right, so right. So this is, uh, you know, this had this name and this has been going on for That's right. It's been around for a long, long time. time, yes. So if you haven't watched our other video on it yet, uh, it, we have a, one video in our series of videos on knee pain called What is Causing Your Knee Pain, Osgood Schlatter Disease, and How to Tell. You may want to watch that. It'll help you understand why we're doing this treatment. Right, So. Right. The point about Osgood Schlatter disease, it, it will eventually go away on its own, but generally not until after the person's growth spurt has stopped. So if you know you're a, a teenage boy, it might be you might be 18, 19 before it stops, sure. and if you're a girl, it might be 14, 15, you know, before it stops. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and that's kind of a bummer. I, I understand it. It's really a crappy thing that you know you're you're in the peak of your sports career in high school and right. you're going to get hit with this. So well, some of them might go on to college. Yeah, that's right. And w and we're going to show you things to kind of, you can't take it away, but we maybe can um, moderate it a little sure. bit. So, okay, so we're going to have you try the f following things. Um, but it's it's generally not dangerous to participate in sports, by the way. It's just uncomfortable painful. and painful, <laughs> yeah. So the first one, you're going to definitely want to perform warm-up ex warm exercises before playing sports. Sure. You want to stretch the quadricep, which makes sense, because the quadricep comes down and attaches into that tendon, you know, through All, through all the four patella. of those quadriceps, that yeah. tendon uh, is the pivot point for all of them. That's not the right term, but they all connect there. So there's a lot of forces going through right. there. Right. So the, the stretch, the more the quadricep is stretched out, the less stress it should put on right. that tendon. So it's really going to help. Hamstring and calf stretches too are important. So, you know, quadricep is very simple. You can just, standing or sitting like this, you can just grab your, your back of your ankle and pull back like yeah. that. If you're standing, you want to make sure you pull the knee back. Back, yes. And you'll feel that quadricep stretch. And, and don't lean forward. Try to stay upright. You'll get a better stretch. So a hamstring stretch, you can do it that way. You can, you can. I always like to make sure your back is a good, good position. Make yeah. sure that's nice and straight. Don't be curling up like this. Yep. So yeah. Straight forward like this. this. Yeah. Think about. I always say, you know, bring your sternum or your chest to your knee right. with your head up. Right. And uh, it's a lot better than rounding over like this. And calf stretch, you can push over the wall or whatever you want to do. <laughs> well, uh, typically people at this age, if they're in an activity. They know how to do these stretches. Yeah, those right. pretty typical stretches. Nothing fancy. So number two, um, this is advice I would give almost all student athletes, and that is avoid specialization in one sport. If you are going around, let's say you think you're going to be the next NBA basketball player, you're playing games all year round. One, you're going to burn out from it. I mean, mm. you know, you. I, I used to love to play basketball, but I couldn't play a hundred games in the summer. You know, I mean, it was just even even though the coaches will want you to. Right, <laughs> even the, co the coaches. I mean, take another sport, enjoy yourself. You right, know, that's what right. it's for. So, um, and, uh, number three, avoid high intensity workouts because. It, that's just going to make it worse, right. and you're not going to gain anything from the, those high-intensity workouts. It's going to set you back. Right. So you know, and, and off-season, if you want to train and you know, running, you know, to just stay in shape might be an option. But biking is going to be better for it because you don't have that impact. And if if you do bike or you know you want to get into that, and that's going to be great for cross yeah. Training. If you find uh, a sport that it doesn't irritate it as much, mm -hmm. stick with that. Right. Uh, number four, I actually think this is worthwhile, Brad, is to actually do cross fiber massage mm -hmm. to the tendon. Now you you kind of kind of marked on your tendon, so we could you can actually yeah. see. It. That's so, that's the bump where the tendon attaches into that black part. Right. So you go right above that, and see right there. I that's can the patella tendon. Yep, that's just right here. 
If I tighten up my quadriceps in that tendon, it is very distinctly palpable, or you can feel it. And then you're going to go across that tendon. Aggressively. Yep. You're pushing in and going back and forth and back and forth. Your thumb's going to get tired. But, you know, if it gets sore and sore, and after like 20, 30 seconds, it just feels like it's irritating it and getting worse, it, it's not ready for it. But you know it's going to be good as after about 20, 30 seconds it starts to feel better or kind of numbish. Then you're going to continue to massage this until your thumb gets or a couple, three minutes if you can go that long. Um, and then give it a break and then go back after it again later. To me, it's a great one to do just, you know, a couple of minutes before you play a sport. Mm -hmm. um, it can really stretch out that tendon somewhat yeah. and take some of the stress off the bone. So, um Number five, use shock absorber insoles and sure. both sho shoes. Just a little bit less pounding on yeah, the knee. Take some stress yeah. off that. Um, using the heating pad, uh, we just had uh, on our podcast a guy who is uh, expert on stretching. Oh, and sure. And he was saying mm -hmm. this is one thing that's not used enough is heating pad prior to an activity. Right. Really heating up that muscles. Yep. So um, using yeah. the heating pad for like 15 minutes. And you could do that before you do the stretching. Yep. As well as afterwards. But yep. he, I know he mentioned before the stretching was a good way to get things loosened up. And, uh, you know, it depends how you feel about cold packs. You might do a cold pack after to uh, actually calm down the inflammation. Yeah, right. But right. Uh, some people don't believe in cold packs anymore. So Yeah, it, I think in high school level, it's still the, the trainers still have a lot of cold packs. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> the, the number one th thing in their arsenal, I think. Yeah. Um, Brad and I talked about this one. And yeah, there's there's some sports where this would be uh, really helpful, especially volleyball, where you have right. a pad that goes over the bump. Or the potential for impact yeah. on the floor, especially a hard floor. You know, it's going to be very well, even but football. Yeah, right. And wrestling. Right? Yeah. Yep. yep. But you know, all those sports, uh, they a lot of people wear them even if they don't have. Yeah, right. Them. Exactly. Like, yeah. Make sure you're, you know, so you're not going to be sticking out if you put a knee Yeah. Good on. point. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you can try, and this is going to want to check with your physi physician or your doctor. Um, you can try an anti-inflammatory medicine mm. like ibuprofen, Advil, Motrin, right, and it'll sure. just cal help calm the inflammation right. down. So you got to make sure you don't you take that appropriately and not overdo it because that can be harmful to your stomach and right. other things like that. So you know, especially at that age, you think, well, if three are good. Maybe if I take six. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, maybe that's the way I was anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that uh, explains a lot. <laughs> but uh, anyway, y you want to always make sure you are taking it with food. Right. I mean, yep. um, you know, eat a piece of toast, then eat, uh, take the ibuprofen. Yep. So. Some milk in there. Yeah. You know, Chris always says make sure at least some milk for the sure. ibuprofen. Sure. Okay, the last one, we're going to say if you strengthen your quadricep muscle, uh, that often helps. I'm going to show you a real simple way to do that. Just got a pillow here. This is the most simple way to strengthen the quad. It's isometric, uh, so it's not much pressure on the tendon. You probably don't want to be aggressive. That's why this is a good option. You're yeah. not going to go do squats and things like that with a lot of weight. So I fold up a pillow in half, and I'm just pushing it down yep. towards the bed, holding it for 10 seconds, and then relax. Sure. And I could do you know, lots of sets. You can be watching TV while you're doing these yep. and strengthen those quads. Because one of the things that happens... When you have pain like this, your muscles react by not wanting to fire, and, and right. they become weak. Right. And so you want to keep that muscle as strong as possible right. so it can take some of the, the stress. Right. So there you go. This video, by the way, is part oh. of a series of videos on knee pain. So if you want to check out the whole series, go to bobandbrad.com and go to the program section, and you'll find, I don't know, always what are we up, 30, 40 videos on knee pain. So... <laughs> Check out the ones that pertain We're to you. We're too old to keep track. Yeah. <laughs> Check out the ones that pertain to you. You don't have to watch each one. And what else, Brad? Well, along a big bonus is there's a PDF button. Click on that. You'll get a printout with a review and exercises of the video. It's a wonderful deal. Uh, we don't even charge you a dime, not even your email. Yeah, we don't ask for your email. Oh, we, yeah, that, that's not <laughs> <a char> <laughs> We don't <charge>. charge you. <laughs> We might ask you for your credit card number. No, just joking. <laughs> we would never ask for your credit card right. number. So, all Very right. Very good. Good luck with those knees. Yeah, take care.